Shelly Luther will spend the next week in jail. Now, the judge gave her the option to avoid jail time if she would close her salon and admit she was wrong for defiantly reopening April 24th and remaining open despite a temporary restraining order and other legal action. She refused and also has to pay a $7,000 fine. Fox 4's Allison Harris has the story. Allison. Stephen Heather, more than a million Texans have filed for unemployment. This salon owner fought back, defying state and local orders to reopen. The judge today gave her a way out, but she didn't take it. I'm one of those open Texas moderators. As open Texas protesters stood their ground outside, inside the Dallas courtroom. Counsel, excuse me. The they, Counsel, the remedy $500 to Counsel, six months. Counsel, you will not speak over me. Salon owner Shelley Luther and her attorney Warren Norrid stood their ground too, defiant that her salon will not close. Sit down and be court. quiet. I am not through speaking. Do not say another word while I'm speaking, and you will not interrupt me again in this court. Luther knew that she was risking a possible fine and jail time when she went on camera two weeks ago, proclaiming that her far north Dallas salon off Beltline near North Coit would reopen regardless of the governor's stay-at-home order at the time. Why did you reopen? Because I had no other choice because I couldn't feed my family. Last week, District Judge Eric Moyer issued a temporary restraining order against her salon. Tuesday, the two were face to face, the judge reminding her that she's not the only person nor the only business hurting because of the virus. Your actions were selfish, putting your own interests ahead of those of the community in which you live, that they disrespected the executive orders of the state, the orders of the county and this city, he gave her a chance to avoid jail time if she apologized and promised to close until salons are allowed to reopen Friday. His offer did not compel her. I have to disagree with you, sir, when, I, when you say that I'm selfish because feeding my kids is not selfish. I have hair stylists that are going hungry because they'd rather feed their kids. So, sir, if you think the law is more important than kids getting fed, and please go ahead with your decision, but I'm not going to shut the salon. The judge found Luther and her company, Hot Mess Enterprises, guilty of civil and criminal contempt of court. Luther was taken into custody, sentenced to seven days in jail, one for each day her salon was open after the court ordered her to close, plus $1,000 for each day that it was open, totaling $7,000. She'll continue to be fined $1,000 for each day that it's open until Friday. Back outside, attorney Warren Norred said they will appeal, mocking the judge. If you're not willing to die for your fellow countryman, then it's you that is selfish, as opposed to maybe the, maybe the vulnerable could just stay inside and order pizza, or we could bring them things. She was taken into custody today right after Governor Abbott announced that salons can reopen on Friday. She told us today, told the courtroom that she did get a government loan, but she didn't specify which loan. And as of tonight, there are people on social media organizing rallies to support her. Texas. Uh, this is Shelly Luther. It's a story that is hot. Uh, she's now in jail for seven days for opening up her salon. Watch here. Why did you reopen? because I had no other choice, because I couldn't feed my family. So moments ago, the attorney general there in Texas is asking the judge to reconsider. What do you think of this case, how it's going down? When you consider on Friday of this week, she could have done it without having to say, I apologize in front of a judge. All right, so she was not convicted of violating Governor Abbott's guidelines because the guidelines are just guidelines. They don't have the force of law. She was convicted of violating a judicial order to shut her salon. The judge who issued that order has no more authority to shut the salon than does the governor who didn't exercise any authority to shut the salon. And then after he convicted her, saying, all I need you to do is admit that you're selfish and you won't go to jail. Admit that she's selfish. Being selfish is not a crime. This sort of say what I want you to say and I won't send you to jail violates her right to remain silent. This case is a mess. The best thing that can happen would be for Governor Abbott and the Attorney General Paxton of Texas to get their wish 
which is that she be released from jail immediately so that she can go to work. When, as you point right. out, the guidelines will open up within 48 hours. The, the judge wants an apology. You call her an American hero. Does she stay in bars for seven days or not, Judge? I hope they let her out soon, but she is a hero for not kowtowing to this judge who wanted her to admit she was wrong. She was not wrong. The judge has no more authority to close her shop than the governor does.